Welcome, everyone, to the Principal's Convention of Non-Bullying. As we all know, bullying has been a problem within all of our schools. But fortunately, we have success stories, and one of the best this year is from Principal Becky the Book. Take it away, Becky. Thank you, Mr. A. As you all know, I am Becky the Book, and I would love to share my story with you fellow principals. Once upon a time, in Bear Hood School, Two students named Timmy the Tissue and President Pooch. They were best friends and they had a problem. More specifically, they had a boot. Today's homework is algebra problems. Oh, great! I'm so excited. Algebra is my favorite subject. Well, I'd expect that since you are the president of the math club. President Booch, I want you to do my homework now, ASAP. I'm sorry I cannot do that. That is cheating. <laughs> better do my homework. Okay, I guess that would work. I better get an A. At least a C plus. Okay, I don't think that would be a problem. I wish I could help him, but I'm scared of TNT Man too. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Hey, Timmy the Tissue, I love your costume. Thanks, President Pooch. I really like your sci-fi costume, too. Thanks. Ha ha ha, nice costume nerd. I wore that costume last year. So last year, you dope. Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself, TNT man? Hey, Tissue, you ever heard of a noogie? No, I've never heard of a noogie before. What is it? You'll know what it is after this. Whatever you do, Poochie, don't ask about the nuggie. He's really getting out of hand. I just don't know what to do. I'm still recovering from that nuggie yesterday. My hair is all messed up. That's okay, Tissue. It won't happen again. I have a secret weapon. Meet Bob the Bodyguard. What's up, homie? I got you, babe. All right. Oh no, here comes CNT Man. Who's your new friend here, Poochie? Your babysitter. I'm new bodyguard in town. And you better leave my homies alone. Arr! You ever talk to me like that again? You're getting noogie. Um, yes, sir. See you guys later. Arr! Now, Poochie Poo. I think it's time for you and I to have a little chat in the bathroom. Okay, I guess there's nothing else I can do. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna have to change schools. There has to be another way. I'm sorry guys, I'm a bodyguard, and I've never seen anything like this. I don't think we got any other options. We have to tell Principal Bucky the book. No, but that could make it worse. We could get noogies every day, all day. I can't take that, I'm fragile. I'm only made of cotton. No, bodyguard is right. We should tell our principal and put a stop to this. And that's exactly what they did. TNT Man learned not to bully through his many hours in detention. Tissue, President Pooch, and Bob the Bodyguard lived happily ever after. The end. A fork, fork, fork in a row. 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 If you do the right thing, things will happen. In a row. This is so stupid and could have been prevented. My life is ruined. Rex is sitting in the back of my police car today and is going to face being in jail for the rest of his life because he murdered the snow. This could have all been prevented though. Let me take you back a week and show you what happened. This is how you lift to get big and strong. Like me, smarts. I can't lift them. I am too weak. Want to buy some drugs? These will help you get big and lift the weights. Are those steroids? No, I don't want to buy them. They're bad for you. Well, just think about it. You can always meet me in the alleyway, and I can hook you up. If I do take them, I will be big and strong, like Rex the Muscle Man. Hmm, maybe I should try them. 
Well, hello there. Who do we have here? Yes, is that right? Can we hook you up with something? We friends a Lil Slime. The snail. Who you met earlier? I'm Lil Weed. And I'm Blaze. Little Slime said that we should be expecting you. Oh, he did? Well, I was looking to see. We have what you're looking for right here. This will make you big and strong. Now you just inject yourself tonight, and you'll be lifting weights like they are nothing tomorrow at the gym. That'll be $20. Thank you. Wow, smarts. You're looking bigger already from one day at the gym. Oh yeah, I am feeling really good today and ready to lift. Smarts, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Just you wait and see. How'd you get so strong overnight? Something fishy's going on here. Hey, you gonna let Smarts challenge you like that? I have something that'll make you beat him for sure. Drugs? Man, I don't know. I work so hard to be in shape. I have a football scholarship to college next year. They drug test. I can get in a lot of trouble. Is it worth it? Call me if you're interested. Here's my number. Well, you can meet me or my buddies in the Iowa. They could hook you up too. Okay, well, thanks anyways. I don't think this is a good idea. Keep the card in case you change your mind. Just think about it. Hmm. Good job, Rex. You made the right decision. You have worked so hard training to earn a football scholarship. I am proud of you. But, but you know you could take that snail up on the offer and be the strongest guy ever. I mean, smarts the book. Who's keeping up with you at the gym today? Stop that. Don't you listen to him. You already made the right decision. But he's still thinking about it. Little Slime the Snail said to think about it. He could get it from his friends, too. Come on, you know you want to be even bigger and stronger. I know I do. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Well, maybe I'll just try it once. What's the harm of one time? It'll be out of my system by college. You were right, Little Slime. He changed his mind. I'm glad you did. Here's what will make you bigger and stronger. Just inject yourself with that tonight, and you'll feel much stronger tomorrow. Let's go, Smarts. It's on. I'm feeling strong today. Okay. Head-to-head -head lifting. It's on. What Rex did not know was that Smarts was taking steroids, too. He had been on them for two days now and was still going to be able to keep up with Rex. I don't understand. I'm supposed to be stronger than you. Ugh. Hey, don't get mad at me. Hey, you two, get out of my gym. I won't stand for your childish fighting in my gym. Hey, your stuff didn't work. I need more. I'll have more right now. I'll call you and blaze these my supplies. No, I need it now. I'm coming to get it. I know you have some. Man, I told you I don't have any right now. Blaze a little weed will give it to me soon. Then I can give it to you. I need it now. I'm not strong enough. You lied to me. Hey, man, just cool it. You're experiencing roar rage right now. Rah! I'm gonna put salt on you. Oh, no. Don't kill me. You don't want to do this. I'm melting. <laughs> I saw the whole thing happen. Vex, put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I can't believe this. That was not worth it. I'm going to jail now. I'm going to lose everything. I will not be able to go to college with this scholarship I worked so hard for. I am probably going to be in jail for life now. I killed someone. My life is ruined. All for some stupid drugs. That was not worth it. I told you it was not worth it. Now Vex is going to jail and may serve a life sentence for the murder of Little Slime the Snow. He would definitely lose his scholarship and may never go to college. Do you think it was worth it? Vex learned the hard way, but you don't have to. Learn from his mistakes. Make good choices. A fork, fork, fork in a row. 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 If you do the right thing, things will happen. In a row, in a row. If you do the right thing, Once upon a time on IWD Luna Base, a dancing one-legged teenager named Matilda practiced relentlessly saying, I know I can do this, I know I can do this. Mommy made me match my m ms la, 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 la. I wish I could hear the sound of my own voice. Just because I have CP doesn't mean I can't play the guitar. Ah! 
I'm going to juggle. Just because I got multiple disabilities doesn't mean I can't accomplish it. I'm so lucky to have my trusty companion Chance by my side. <coughs> That's right, girl. Chance helps me get to where I want to go without any problems. Arr! Well, usually without any problems. Ah! I'm so sorry, sir. My dog Chance must have. Are you kidding me? You almost really hurt me. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. I'm on my way to the talent show for people with disabilities and... There are more of you? This needs to be stopped for your safety and mine. Of course there's more. Well, the show has been canceled. From this day forward, this show has been canceled. I have thought about it and there will be no sports, including rowing, basketball, and any other sports known to man. They will not be able to travel, go to college, go to work, sing, dance, juggle, shoot arrows, or play guitar. Oh, and by the way, there will be no jobs for any disabled people. Why is the mayor acting like this? I can't believe he said that. I've been practicing all year for this show. How could he do this? I can't believe it. I actually voted for this guy. You voted, Con? Well, not really. But at the time, I would have so that. I'm so upset. I'm going to go home and soak in my bed. Yeah, me too. I'm so sad. Maybe everybody's right. Maybe I can't sing. Candy, I have advice for you. Don't listen to what the mayor says. If you can do it, go for it. You're right, I'm not gonna let anybody stop me. I've gotta get to the show. Did you guys have a dream? Yeah. yeah. An angel came to me and told me not to give up. An angel came to me too and told me not to let anyone destroy my dreams. We're not gonna let other people say what we can or can't do. Yeah, yeah let's put on the show. Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's talent show. It has been said that people with disabilities cannot do anything. We are here tonight to prove that wrong. And with that said, I will shoot my arrow straight through this bullseye. Stop right there. I said the show was off. You can't do that. I can do anything. Mr. Mayor, don't underestimate anyone. Mr. Mayor, can you do this? <laughs> We can do anything we want. You tell yourself you can do it. I apologize for what I've said in the past. I see now that I was wrong. You can do anything that you put your mind to. You are the most talented people that I have ever met. From now on, there will be jobs for people with disabilities. Yeah. yeah. We can do anything we want. Smile, that's all he wanted for a while. We can do anything you want.